This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and this is a special video. Typically, I release my videos on Tuesdays uh, for like, you know, how to kill bugs or you know, information on bed bugs, roaches, whatever. And then Thursdays, I do live streams where you can meet me on online after 9.30. Uh, we talk about all kinds of bugs, bed bugs and roaches and, you know, rats, mice. Any questions that you might have, you can come on live and talk to me Thursday night, typically after 9.30 at night, after I put the kids to bed. But this is special. So this video, we're gonna go over a problem that is facing Virginia, Tennessee, parts of North Carolina, uh, millipedes. So millipedes and centipedes, but mostly millipedes for the most part. Now I do have a video on millipedes and centipedes and how to eliminate these bugs. But this is just a special announcement, a special video, explaining to you why they're so bad. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. I had recently, I had a exterminator contact me from Tappahannock, Virginia, which is out, way outside of my local service area uh, for things like millipedes and roaches and stuff like that. But I do go statewide for things like bed bugs. And he, he contacted me asking me what I was doing for the millipede problem. So, uh, and millipedes, and for the, great, the, greater, the greater problem is millipedes. Now, there are some people that are having issues with centipedes, but mostly millipedes right now. So I have not experienced a millipede exodus, so to speak, like this in probably over 20 years. Um, when I first got into pest control, for those that don't know, I've been licensed since I was 17. I'm second generation pest control technician. I worked with my father all my life uh, from the time I was six, seven years old doing termite work to all the way now, and now I'm 39, uh, almost 40, still killing bugs for a living. This is what I do all the time. And occasionally, you'll get a call from someone who has problems with millipedes. Now, millipedes are different than centipedes. Millipedes look like a little inchworm, typically, and when they die, they curl up like a little cinnamon bun, okay? They are pretty much harmless, but they're aggravating when they come into a home by the thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of these little teeny tiny worm-like insects, or not really insects, but millipedes, because they have four, what sets them apart from an insect is that they have four legs for every segment of their body, where an insect only has six legs or three pairs of legs. A millipede has lots and lots and lots of legs. So why are they coming in? What is the problem with the millipedes and why are they coming in so bad in Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and even parts of Maryland? And the main reason is, so, so these bugs, and they are bugs, uh, arthropods, they reproduce profusely in the wet, damp weather. So if you have a really good spring or even a good fall from the year before or a good winter where you have lots of rainfall, which we did have in Virginia, North Carolina, all these areas I listed uh, over the last like six months or so, um, prior to this six month period, we had lots of rainfall. We had really good adequate rainfall, good spring weather, uh, lots of rain, lots of really good, like I said, good rainy weather. Um, and so the millipedes are happy. They're like, oh boy, yay, let's have babies. Let's make a whole bunch of babies because that's what they do in the wet weather. Um, but what happens is now it's going on about 12 weeks, maybe a little bit longer uh, drought period. So in Virginia, because we're a mild climate state, we're kind of right in the middle of the United States, we rely a lot on damp weather coming down from the north and even from the south bringing up the hurricane weather and stuff like that we rely a lot on that weather in order to 
ensure that we have an adequate wet summer. And we haven't been getting a lot of rain this year. And so what happens when you don't receive a lot of rainfall is the millipedes start coming into the homes by the millions. I mean, it's like a mass exodus of bugs. And as an exterminator, the reason that I'm addressing this is because even you as a consumer, no matter how much pesticide you put out for these millipedes, no matter how often you treat, they are still going to be a problem. You're still going to have them and they'll come in and die. I mean, you can scoop them up. I had a guy tell me yesterday he had well over 500 millipedes in a bucket that he had to flush down the toilet. All right, that's a lot of millipedes. And when I went to his house, there were still probably well over 100 in the floor all around in the same area he had just cleaned them up from. They're just pouring in around your cracks and crevices in the house. What they do is homes that have a slab, so basements or slab construction, get millipedes. What they do is they crawl in across the plate where the wood, the wood of the wall, sits on top of the concrete floor. And even if it's not wood, it may be a metal wall or whatever, but either way, it's where the wall sits on top of the concrete floor. And the bugs are able, because of their size, they're not very big, they can come in and they can squeeze through that crack and come across the cool concrete floor, which is really what they're trying to do. They're trying to get out of the hot, arid weather and come into where it's nice and cool and damp. Typically, basements are damp. Crawl spaces are damp. Now, homes that have crawl spaces don't see a lot of millipede activity. It's not that the millipedes aren't getting in, it's that the millipedes, once they get into the crawl space, it's damp enough and it harbors the moisture to the point where they're kind of happy and they don't come upstairs. Not all the time. Sometimes, but not all the time. Homes with basements and slabs, though, have an extremely horrible problem with millipedes. The last time this occurred, for me, as an exterminator, I was probably 18 or 19 years old. I was still living at home because when I moved out, I was 20. So I was licensed at 17. I had my own route. This is how I'm remembering just trying to figure out how old I was <laughs> or how long ago it was. So it's about 20 years ago. So what happened is we went through a pretty severe drought in central southern Virginia. Um, wells were going dry all across Bedford County, Campbell County. Uh, you know, people were having to drill some as much as 600, uh, 800 feet down just to hit water. It was it was really bad. My my father's well, uh, which is a 50 foot hand dug well, um, that had been out. I mean, it's been there since the house was built. I mean, a long time ago to have a 50 foot hand dug well. That's an old well, and to have it all of a sudden go dry because of a drought. It had to be a pretty severe drought, and so. This is what happened to my father's property and a lot of the other properties around were having the same exact issue. So this is what's going on right now. Again, in central southern Virginia, we are experiencing extreme drought. But it's not just central and southern Virginia. It's all around Virginia, even up into northern Virginia this year. So understand that the millipedes want to get out of the dry weather. They want to find moisture. They want to find water. That's what they're seeking. They're trying to get into the house, trying to find a cooler place to live, just like you would. I mean, right now it's 93 degrees outside where I am in Charlottesville. So the weather is really, really hot and they don't like it. They don't like the heat at all. So they're trying to get in to get out of the heat. If you treat around the cracks and crevices of your home, Typically, I recommend, in fact, just go watch my millipede video. I'll link it again right here to show you where to click so you can go and take a look at it yourself. But follow the directions in that video. You will kill your millipedes and your centipedes and your spiders and stuff that are coming in. I know it's really bad. I know it's really obnoxious because there's not a lot that you can really do to stop them from coming in unless the weather cools down and we get some rain. Hopefully this video has been beneficial. Hopefully it's been educational. Hopefully it sheds some light on why the millipedes are so bad. Uh, if you have any more questions about millipedes, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below and uh, I will try to get to it and, and answer any of your questions that you might have. Hopefully this video has helped you. And if not, well, I'm sorry, but that's the best I know. <laughs> also, I will mention here, during the time of the millipedes, when I was a teenager, I lost three accounts from my dad's business. 
all because I wasn't doing yard treatments. So if it's extreme, and the cases are pretty extreme right now with the millipedes, I recommend treating the yard in the same way that you would treat the yard for say ticks or fleas or something similar. Because the, uh, the treatment you do in the yard, what you're doing is you're, you're creating a larger barrier that the millipedes actually have to crawl over. And because of their really thick exoskeleton, it takes more pesticide to kill one. So if you treat your yard with a granular pesticide or even a liquid pesticide, they have to crawl across that liquid pesticide. And by the time they actually get to your house, hopefully they're dead before they get in. So I wasn't doing yard treatments for millipedes uh, 20 years ago. And honestly, I'm still not doing yard treatments for them now. I feel like you'd have to do it so often to get, to get them under control that it would be better for something for the consumer to do. But anyway, hopefully this video has helped you. Uh, don't forget live streams every Thursday night. Come, show up, talk to me, ask me questions. If you have questions about millipedes, like I said, leave them in below or show up Thursday night. Y'all have a real great day. Appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.